Hey, welcome back, hosers. We're up in the front of the rig today, uh, up in my generator compartment, um, where we ha also have the batteries stored. Uh, what I did the other day was make a little battery box. So many of you only have uh, <clears throat> one battery. It sits kind of back here where this little hole is uh, that you can see through right there. That's the vent. It goes right through here, vents, gets all that stuff. The only bad thing is that battery box is just slightly bigger than the battery itself it totally screws up all of the storage and everybody that has a rig knows storage number one number one you got to have the storage uh, so what I did is I moved a couple things around took out the battery added another battery um, when we first got the rig. so we have two batteries in here two battery boxes absolutely no storage right here couldn't do anything it stopped battery box uh, was right here can't sit sit anything up there uh, right now we have a little different story so here's what I did basically went and got one of these boxes so I got it from Target you can measure out what you get measure your batteries uh, right now we just have the lead acid batteries they're also with those battery boxes there is what eight ten screws going through that thing that you had to take off just to check the water kind of a pain in the butt uh, right now totally way easier um, so we put the battery in I think I can get three batteries in here uh, you'll have to measure your own uh, Home Depot Lowe's Target all these places have it I'm going to say don't go to Home Depot and it's the one time that I will not go to Home Depot and that's to get this why you get the black bottom it, they're nice boxes. I'll, I'll give them that. They're nice boxes. The top is yellow. Mm -mm. Ain't doing black and yellow. I ain't no Hawkeye fan. I'm not representing them at all. Nah, ain't gonna happen. Black, red, red and white are adopted. Anyway, went to Target. I paid double the price of what I would have at Home Depot, so if money... Uh, is kind of that that issue um, I think it is seven to eight bucks um, if you go to, to Home Depot and get the black and yellow totally up to you. you I just ain't no ain't gonna do it ain't gonna happen I'm gonna be prudent at this juncture uh, go there Target I think is where I got this at at least they got the red it's, it's a born and bred thing I don't know what it is but just the way it is all right back to this uh, go measure everything figure it out what you're going what you're going to do uh, let me show you here so that's what we got going on right now my two batteries battery one battery two they were sitting over here and over here and they were just taking up a, a buttload of room that I wanted to use so right now um, I got my ground which is right over there and this is going to be where your breaker is take that off you're going to see this that uh, red wire the positive wire right there that was strung over through all of this rat's nest back over here I just took this off loosened it up rerouted it so I could get it right into this corner right here same with the ground the ground on mine will reach so I just labeled it, ran it up here, grounded it out right there. Um, how I made these holes, these were just a couple of the guests. I measured up uh, how big the battery is and puts, uh, did a step bit and just drilled out those holes. Very, very easy, very quick. Uh, right, and then right here, make sure you label everything. I'm not that electronically genius, uh, but label everything. So I just have battery one positive to battery two positive that's what that's there the black two to one on the negative out of the generator these connections right here are out of the generator I just matched up that little hole did a little step bit drilled it out and then just uh, feed them through and when you get everything um, kind of set up I got some uh, foam that I did some packaging uh, with just to make it in there so these batteries do not move and now 
all you have to do is pop off these to check the actual water and uh, there you go that's how easy that is um, with the vent that sits on the outside I just routed it right underneath here and then right to there so I got my my batteries are vented I think right now I could actually fit another battery in there um, but it makes it so much nicer just to have two batteries I have just a, a little storage space right over here put some of those in there um, basically so if we ever broke down or or did anything like that we could have some quick ac access to uh, a couple screws um, you know flares I put my flares right up here or the triangles I guess kind of what they're called and there's just so much storage in here that just goes to waste with a couple of those battery uh, boxes they're not worth the hoot so and put in some duct tape right there just easy to grab super super simple it did take me a long time to do this um, with that step bit and then uh, taking everything out as I took it out just use some you know blue painters tape wrote on it you know battery one negative to battery two negative because they are in parallel so parallel 12 volt system uh, I think the interstate batteries from what I've seen were 65 amp hours so you get two of them that are 130 amp hours you can only run them down to 50 percent so you only got 65 amp hours uh, total with the two batteries um, if you were to run them into series that makes them 24 volt batteries you do not want to do this so if you don't know what you're doing research it or get an electrician out here or somebody uh, an RV tech that will do that you do not want to put 24 volts through your rig no bueno um, but right now there are 12 volts uh, run in parallel so it doubles the the amp hours of the battery way easier to check um, and it gives you a lot more storage so after all that easily that's all there is to it guys but uh, let me know what you guys got until next time throw the bones